Soul 7 writes, Hey Collider, my question for you is, do studios have their say as to how long a particular film has to be? Or is it the director? What are your thoughts? Thanks. It's, it's mostly the studio. They don't have a set time in terms of like, we need this to be in one hour, 52 minutes and 30 seconds, but they probably have a cap because they want a bigger return on their investment. They want, you know, movies playing over and over and over. And the shorter it is, the more sh screen times they can have. Um, I think even with directors that have final cut, they still have like some sort of like time cap, like uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I think the original cut was like over four hours. And they had, and yeah. God, I want that That's version. That's a lot of F bombs. Yes. I really want that version. And so Scorsese had to cut it down to, it was a little over three. Yeah. Three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half. Hey, those three and a half flew by so, for me. Me too. Um, me too. But, but there's even someone as powerful as him, they, they, they have a, something they have to get under. So they're not necessarily telling him, oh, you have to cut this part or that part, but you got to put it under. You guys hear anything different? I mean, you, you bring up a great point with the studios that I think they generally would always prefer a 90 minute movie, yeah. regardless of what it is. But sometimes when you're working with a director like a Scorsese or in the comedy world and Apatow, who have had so many successful movies come out, that they get a little more leeway when it comes to how long you want your movie. Or even when we were talking about if J.J. Abrams, or who has final cut of episode seven, that movie is going to be a little over two hours. And I think that they want that to be that that's about the running time they want. They don't want it to be any longer than that. That fits with the rest of the Star Wars movies that have come out. But but studios want it to be shorter and shorter. I mean, they, the studios also know when they see a script as well, too. Like when, when the script's bought, when, it, when it's in development. Normally, if a script's 120 pages, then it looks like it's going to be a two-hour movie. Um, and then depending on the director and what the director's vision's like, they know. Like when you like you mentioned, Dennis, when you have Scorsese in there, you know you're probably going to get an over two-hour movie. And you're probably aware of it. It depends on what, what season it comes out, when it comes out, who the target audience is. Like, and again, when it comes to like kids' movies, they also know the kids' attention span, so they know that they try to cut that cut it down. And, and it's, it's just a matter. It's a case by case. It really is. Did you guys hear that uh, Quentin Tarantino said that the Hateful Eight will have an intermission? Oh, is it definitely the, yeah. Yeah. like like Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, like yeah. you're like okay. Which you know, I, first of all, I think movies are. I don't want to sound like a grandma, but I think movies are too long mm -hmm. nowadays. I don't understand why every movie has to be two hours and fifteen minutes. It feels like. But with that being said, with Tarantino, like you were saying, I think feel like you know you're gonna need to strap in because right. it's gonna be a long movie. But I kind of love the idea, especially because Tarantino is such a cinephile, for lack of a better word, that he's actually going to put an intermission in his movie. Yeah, I think that that's great. He it's, is so in love with all the old school tricks really that he's is. using for Hateful Eight. I hope it doesn't overtake the actual quality of the movie, but I'm very excited for Hateful Eight. Christian, you brought up a really interesting point. Is that it's seasonal, maybe? W which month do you think is the record for most 90-minute movies? It's got to be February. January. 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 Yeah. 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 It's like, just Did get it, this crap yeah, over. Yeah. It's true. But you know, <laughs> the other thing, the one thing about the Tarantino thing is, I, look, I love Tarantino, and I can't wait to see Hateful Eight. I hate the idea of intermission. I just because really? the reason why not not because of the nostalgia purposes. The the idea of like old school theater, yeah, of course it's romantic. It's 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 great in that aspect. But I want to be I'm going to be so sucked into Tarantino's movie, and then it's like oh, go back into reality for a little for like 15, 20 minutes, and then come back and and start all over again. And it's like it sucks you out of it. But you but might have to pee. Uh, the the, the run away. But and also, don't you feel like he's kind of? I mean, if anybody knows how to pace his audience, of course he does. I'm gonna be, him. I'm gonna be jumped right back into it once it starts again. But I just, I want to be, I don't want to be like this and go. Ugh. Oh, yeah. and then I'm going to be talking to somebody else. What do you think I so a, far? I have a feeling that he's not going to cut it abruptly. I have a feeling he's probably going to, you know, take it down a little bit and then ease yeah. you into your intermission. Or maybe not. Maybe he'd just be like, something crazy will happen and he'll clip me. I right know what your issue is. Your issue is that you're afraid of walking out of the theater in Hateful Eight and then having 20 minutes to yourself seeing Star Wars Episode and seven. Running into <laughs> it. He's like, look, I'm looking around. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'll come back to this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, speaking of which, by the way, there's a report. Um, IO9 says that there's a rumor that the advanced tickets for episode seven might go on sale today. Uh, wow. That's a rumor, though. Okay. 